In this video, you'll learn how the generation names are created and why generations matter. The traditional measure of generations is familiar generations, where a generation is defined by a single step in the line of descent from an ancestor. The idea of social generations was introduced in the 19th century. Social generations are cohorts of people who were born in the same date range, share similar cultural experiences, and have been shaped by significant events or societal trends while coming of age. Prior to this concept, generation had generally referred to family relationships. William Strauss and Neil Howe, influential authors on American generations, define a social generation as the aggregate of all people born over a span of roughly 20 years and about the length of one phase of life, childhood, young adulthood, midlife, and old age. How were the generation names created? In 1945, following World War II, economics, businesses, and policymakers began labeling generations as a new way to measure and study demographics. The baby boomers, those born between 1946 and 1964, were the first generation to adopt a widely accepted label. The generations before the baby boomers were named retroactively. Baby boomers achieved their generational label due to the spike in birth rates following the war and a clear end date with the introduction of birth control. The Census Bureau first referred to the years between 1946 and 1964 as the post-war baby boom. As the people born in the boom started to age, ad agencies began to use the term baby boomers to help them target the demographic. This was the first and last a generation's official name had its origin in a government agency. For Generation X, Douglas Copeland wrote a book in 1991 titled Generation X, Talents for an Accelerated Culture that was about the anonymity he and his contemporaries felt growing up in the shadow of baby boomers. The letter X was meant to signify this generation's desire not to be defined. Millennial simply refers to the generation who came of age during the 2000 millennium. In 1993, Advertising Age was credited with creating the term Generation Y. Drouse and Howe used the term Millennials because the members of the generation did not want to be associated with their predecessors, Generation X. Soon after, Advertising Age conceded that Millennials was a better name and insisted that Generation Y was only a placeholder until more was discovered about them. Similarly, the name of the post-millennial generation, Generation Z, will likely change as more is discovered about the youngest generation. Government, the advertising industry, and individuals have all had a hand in naming the generations. The naming of generations is arbitrary and typically takes time to evolve before becoming official. Why do generations matter? An individual's age is one of the most common predictors of differences in attitudes and behaviors. Generational differences lead to disengagement in the workplace, which can lead to poor communication, decreased productivity, leadership miscues, and more. In fact, 52% of workers say they're least likely to get along with someone from another generation, according to a recent poll by research and consulting firm Frank and Maggot Associates. In order to create a cohesive team and avoid conflict, it's important workers understand how different generations see themselves and each other. It can be beneficial to blend experiences and youthful energy in today's workplace, but it's also difficult to manage across the various generations. Specifically, managers continue to be faced with the steep challenge of managing teams made of the emerging generations, millennials and Generation Z, who have very distinct strengths, skills, and approaches to work, communication, leadership, and more. Thanks for watching. I hope this content was insightful and useful. As a top ranked millennial and Generation Z speaker and an Inc.com columnist, I help organizations lead, engage, and sell to the emerging generations, as well as helping them leverage today's workplace trends. If you'd like to have me speak to your organization or at your association, click the link in the description to begin that conversation. Also, if you'd like to learn more strategies and insights like the ones shared in this video, click the link in the description to grab your copy of my latest book, The Millennial Manual, The Complete How-To Guide to Manage, Develop, and Engage Millennials at work. And lastly, click subscribe to ensure you don't miss any future videos. Thanks again and bye for now.